Well, this is not how I was hoping to start any of our Route 66 days, but this is how it worked out. We have to get towed to Joplin, which is 40 miles backwards because there are no transmission shops anywhere in this town. So we're off to Joplin. Too bad, too, because I've never had one problem with this car. And all 185,000 miles, I guess I was due, but never had any problem. So we have a verdict. Unfortunately, you always hope for the best, um, expect the worst, and we got the worst. It needs a whole new transmission. Um, the car has 185,000 miles, so um, unfortunately, the transmission itself would be to install and everything, a new one with a warranty be $7,500, and the car is only worth about 7,000. So I negotiated to basically keep it here for the rest of my trip. I'm gonna get a rental car and um, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the rest of the trip. And then when I come back, I'm gonna have to get a new car because uh, <laughs> yeah, them are the brakes. Well, we now have an SUV for the rest of the ride. We had our first casualty of the trip. I was bummed that never thought the car would die on this trip, but it did. I'm just glad we don't have jaw. This would have really been awful for jaw. All right, so we've got all of our belongings. We're ready to reconvene on this trip. We're gonna go catch up to where we should have been on our next stop yesterday. Scott, are you still mad at me? I'm not mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Actually, we, we get along pretty good traveling. He, he's been really great through this. Some people would not handle it so well. Sorry, Mr. Turtle, permission to pass. I gotta uh, take it kind of slow because we got a bridge here. Okay, we have now returned to the scene of the death. The death of my vehicle. The lion mobile. Yeah. Right there in the uh, otter whatever parking lot. Passing by a little historical marker. It says Oklahoma Historic Route 66. Ribbon Road Sidewalk Highway. Completed 1922 as Federal Highway Project Number 8 running 15.46 miles from Miami to Afton. The only remaining nine feet section of original pavement on the old Route 66 system taken out of service in 1937. Oh, so we're standing on it. <laughs> it's, it's like this right here. They probably throw this stuff down here on purpose. <laughs> For you know? suckers like you, Scott. <laughs> we just noticed this old place. I mean, it's obviously not open anymore, but the uh, Rest Haven Motel. This was definitely a uh, old part of Route 66. Look at it now. We just found this little piece of majesty. This whole corner, check this out. We found the, uh, the grave robbers. Do you mind if we look around, honey? Cool steering wheel. This place is great. Look at all the stuff. Totem poles and lots of uses for truck, the fronts of trucks and backs of trucks. Look at all the Route 66 stuff too. This was not on my list of places to stop, but I saw it along the way and I just, <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Look, those are all made out of watering flower watering buckets and gas buckets or gas tanks. Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> Freaking giant dog. This guy says it best. Just have fun. We're trying to make the most out of the bad <laughs> stuff that's going on. Look at this guy, this is great. This place is magic, look at this. Wow. <laughs> so neat. What's up with the kangaroo? Somebody built this on purpose, that's for sure. It's a little museum called the Cross Star Museum, it says on the truck. Then look when you walk in. Wow, <laughs> the clown.
the monkey. Where does Route 66 at? Elvis. This place is awesome. Nobody here attending it. Just looks like it's open to visitors. All the doors, everything's open. Wide, wide open. Lots of fun photo ops too. I love this. This is so cool. I know it's not much, but don't you like our new rental car? <laughs> How awesome is this place that we just found? It's like it was made for me. Yeah, this place is just absolutely amazing. Yeah, it really is. Gosh, take a look. So we just walked out of this building, but you guys didn't get to see this stuff. We saw that uh, tow truck in there. I mean, he really went the full nine here. He or she, whoever built this place. I love it. Don't walk out of the yellow one, please. With shoes. Look at the faces down here. Yeah, I saw the remote there on the stomach. I like the uh the ones he created himself. The ones he's made out of jugs and different things. Okay, so look over here. This stuff is great. The one on the scooter. Says they call it their happy place. This is awesome. Free entertainment along Route 66. They got beads and stuff like it's freaking Mardi Gras hanging from the trees all over the place. Shoes, look at this. Shoes coming down the tree, walking themselves down the tree. I love it. Bottles, they really went all out. Oh. Beware the monster, it says. There's another totem pole made out of gasoline bottles and flower watering cans. And let's say goodbye to Mr. Route 66. That's crazy as it sounds, but for the last two days of craziness, this kind of puts a smile on my face and makes it better. <laughs> yeah, whoever made this, thank you. You really made my day. Like out of a cartoon, the giant eat sign. Oh boy, welcome to Chelsea, Oklahoma, home of Ralph Terry, the New York Yankee pitcher, World Series MVP in 1962, Gene Autry, singer and movie star, discovered in Chelsea by Will Rogers, Admiral Joseph James Jocko Clark, Bob Wills, Clem McSpadden, Jesse Bartley, and Jerry Douglas. Now, Look ahead, my friends. We're going over another historic bridge, the Pryor Creek Bridge. Historic part of Route 66. Now you know we couldn't just drive through it. We had to get out and walk around and look around it a little bit. At least until another car comes. Nice and peaceful out here too. So I read about this in Chelsea while we were coming through. We had to check it out. They have a pedestrian underpass mural here. And here it is. Frisco Depot, showing you the whole history of the town, which then makes you wonder, Oklahoma's first oil well, wondering if they'll show Phillips gas station, any of the famous people. There's a Mother Road mural. Oh, we just went through there.
end of the trail. Trail of Tears. We did pass by this, the Chelsea Motel. And then of course, Route 66. And then the other side of it is completely white for people to add something. And look at the U-Haul parked right here beside it. It's got the Route 66 story and map on it. A little off the main road for our next little stop here. Well, here we are at Ed Galloway's Totem Pole Park. And Ed Galloway was a... He served in the military when he got released from serving the Philippines. He bought this park area and started building totem poles out of the stumps. And you can see a few of them here, but he made one big giant one that you can walk inside of that everybody likes to come here for. Check out this place. True labor of love. So these have been here for a long, long, long time. So he got out of the military in 37. Started working on these, had a love for the American Indians. And look at that. <laughs> wow. It's even got a UFO, like an alien up there or something. Look at everything going on in there. So this one, as you can see right there, completed in 1948. You can see it from the road or you can park and come walk around. I mean, it'd be crazy to come this far and not go inside, right? Gotta see what it looks like inside. I love that he put the, the feet on here. The world's largest totem pole, built by Ed Galloway, 1937-48, made from 100 tons of sand, rock, 28 tons of cement, 28 or no, 200 different carved pictures. That's awesome! Wow! I'm just showing you what's here on the ground floor. And then if you look up, you can tell probably how he did it because there's ladders and stuff all throughout there to work himself all the way up there. Really cool. Wow. World's largest totem pole, Scott. It's impressive. I told you we were going to see a lot of world's largest on this trip. 10 years. Guy did that in 10 or 11 years. Isn't that amazing? You can see his ladders that just work their way all the way to the top from the inside. It's amazing. And as we walk around it, look, he's got different stuff. Of course, going all the way around. Oh, in the front of it's a turtle. As we make our way around, look at this. This is the side that points towards the street. And there's a little museum over here, like a little museum and gift shop. And then right out by the road, you see these two, right in front of what he calls the fiddle house. And that's the gift shop area. He even did the chairs to this table. That's his fiddle house. Gotta go see what he's got. 
Yeah, he also made fiddles. Look at these. Isn't that incredible? All over the place. He painted the inside. And yeah, he loved to make fiddles, so <laughs> go figure. They're all made out of something different, different kind of wood. See? It says here are 15 fiddles, 15 of the 300 made by Ed Galloway. All 300 were different wood. On the outside of the fiddle house, you can see here like little owls and stuff popping out. I went ahead and got a couple of postcards. It was uh, three for a dollar, not bad. Now we're headed to a place that uh, is dedicated to a man kind of synonymous with Route 66, I think. I have to show you a place called Kong's Corner, especially if they have a freaking monkey King Kong out here. They deserve it. Route 66, you keep delivering. Okay, that was not our plan. Next stop. We had to come check out the Will Rogers Memorial. Will Rogers for president. Learn, laugh, be inspired. Claremore. We are in Claremore. I like it already. Beautiful. Is it limestone? It's amazing. Then as you walk up to the entrance, you can see his face is actually right up in there in the glass. Here we are. There's a wonderful painting of Will. He said he had two rope tricks that have never ever been duplicated. So in here they have a whole collection of things about him, including they have uh, information about the crash that he passed away in, the Alaskan crash. They have a really great statue of him right here in the rotunda. As well as I believe they have his study on display. Never met a man I didn't like, says saying. And I believe that you're supposed to, if you're doing Route 66, you're supposed to rub his shoes for good luck. So we will do that. We've already had the bad luck. Hopefully we got that out of our system. Take a look in here. As we walk in here, they have Will's study. They built his, moved his study into here. Rogers family home sits near the beach on the Pacific Palisades. Began as a simple one room cabin retreat in 1928, but Will Rogers added to it year by year. And by 1935, became a sprawling 31 room ranch style home with 11 baths and seven fireplaces. The 364 acre ranch was a place for family, friends, polo, calf roping, patio cookouts, and relaxed entertainment. This was from the study in his north wing. And you can see he's even got pictures on the walls of him and his friends. Picture of him and Jimmy Rogers, the great country songwriter. That's amazing. This to me is just too cool that they did this, that they moved his entire study into the museum. What a writer. But most important, Bill and his wife Betty played a major role in the design for both the architectural structures. They're showing his house right there. Now they said if we go out here, out these doors, this is a big place. The uh, family is buried out here. And there's another statue of him. Look at this, as they work our way down, there's a, like a totem pole of him doing his trick roping. Huh, you gotta love it. See, we're gonna walk down there. That's where the burial is. Visiting the grave of Will Rogers. Some other people out here visiting as well. Here you can see his name.
Ula, Oklahoma. Died in Point Barrow, Alaska. Very sad when anyone passed away in a plane crash. Here they have a wonderful statue of Will on his horse. And it's right behind the family headstone. It says, if you live life right, death is a joke as far as fear is concerned. <laughs> Oklahoma's favorite son, eighth child of Clement Van and Mary America Shrimpshire Rogers. So his parents are both, he's had them moved here. And then Will is here. Journalist, philosopher, radio commentator, movie star, stage actor, vaudevillian, author, cowboy, roper, and humorist. Then over here is wife, Betty, and his kids, Fred and Jim. And when you're looking back at the museum, they have this on the back. Never met a man I didn't like. This is great. He's presented this hat by Texas publisher Ammon Carter and Tris Speaker, the baseball player, who we vlogged his grave. They have a theater here. You can watch documentaries about his life. Here's some of his memorabilia, including some of his ropes. And this room is about his crash. Check this out. It says, found in the wreckage. Will Rogers worked on his newspaper columns wherever he happened to be. He wrote about who he met, where he met, and what happened. In many ways, he was the blogger long before the term was invented. This portable typewriter was with Will on the plane. His last weekly article was found in the wreckage. That would have been the style of plane that he passed away on. Here's a picture of the wrecked plane. And they actually have one of these pontoon caps that they're pointing to right here in the museum. And then these were all items removed from, sadly, the wreckage of his plane. So there you can see a suit. And hat. Then you have a flight hat. Then you can see he had a pocket knife and magnifying glass over there. He had some stamps, a little magic trick, some gloves, his pocket watch. Here's glasses up there. Gosh, so sad. This is all stuff from the wreckage. These things, in fact, it says came from his pockets. The puzzles, the stamps, and the pocket watch and stuff. Then here was his knuckles from the wreck. His flight headphones. His sleeping sack. And then some first aid stuff. Oh, pretty sad. This is Wiley Post, the man he was killed with. There's Will and Wiley. This museum's amazing. I'm glad we stopped. Check it out. Oh, that's a sad photo, isn't it? And this hallway is all about <laughs> People saying, Will Rogers for president, <laughs> that we could live his way. Say it was always a joke, but the president would say, well, if you know Will, it's not really a joke. I mean, he's on the cover of Life magazine several times. And these shoes were made for Teddy, his vaudeville horse. You know, the mail he would get and how people would send it. Just say, they do his own like gags and stuff on the mail, hoping it gets to him. Despite everything that's happened over the last 24 hours, I gotta say I'm having a pretty fun day. Pretty good day. And here they're talking about Will Rogers, the movie star. Yep. He was even in the flicks. 
This is kind of cool. The uh, the small saddle is it was a gift for Patricia Zigfield, the daughter of Florence Zigfield of the Zigfield Follies, and it was a gift from Will. And then there's his famous straw hat. He's even wearing it up there. So this is a painting by Charles Banks Wilson, who is actually from Miami, Oklahoma, Miami, where we were having our problems the last vlog. He's actually from there. I did see a mural there, but I didn't realize who he was. He's a painter and he painted this picture of Will Rogers when he was 15 years old, he finished that. And then he also painted this and this one. Says Will Rogers was his favorite subject and his hero. Later, Claremont. We're off to see one of my old friends. I've been here several times. I never get tired of it, though. Look at the old bridge on the other side of Route 66 going the other way. Isn't that great? Hello, Katusa! Hello, Blue Whale! What this place must have been in its heyday, I just wonder. I just wonder how much fun people would have had here. Swimming in this water, jumping off that thing, sliding down the slide. The blue whale of Katusa must stop every time. And you cannot swim here. That's not even an option. We've been to a lot of these places. Joliet Prison, we went there. We've seen a lot of these Ted Drews, yep, Merrimack Caverns, yep. Let's go inside the blue whale. He's even got a hat on, don't you love it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was kind of like a fun, fun time thing. Once in the, the day, people could come swim here. Slide down this. Or this. Or if you go down here, you could jump off the back. Off the tail. They did used to have a little ladder in there that kind of led you to believe that you used to be able to climb up to the top and jump out. Oh, there it is. I somehow just walked past it. There. You can see they've holed it up because they don't want people to go up there, but fun time. And like I said, a must-do experience when you're coming into Tulsa. Well, this is Katusa, but Tulsa. I was gonna say, how how much do you love this? And then you just said, I love this thing. <laughs> it's like. Dude. This is totally our style of roadside yeah. America. Well, you took me here the last time we did this trip, man. Yeah, it's just, it's such a wonderful, it's a wonderful, yeah, Route 60. Americana yeah. right there. You can't get much more. Those, that whale is something else. You know they're talking about? The old mail route. They have shirts now. Last time I was here, they didn't have shirts. I'm gonna have to get one. Really good ones. Look at that one. It's a good one too. It's 4.40 and the next thing on our list closes at 5.30 and it's 20 minutes away so we have a half an hour to enjoy this thing. Let's go. Look at this place. This is awesome. Look at the neon. The lay building. That is great. Well, hello Tulsa. You're making my day again, again, and again. Yeah, we're walking through a uh, whole dinosaur display here at Decapolis because we really are trying to get even though this is great you know great for kids famous bucks on 66 Buck Adams cosmic curios <laughs> look at him awesome yes I really wanted to come see this look at that isn't that killer? Buck Adams Space Cowboy. And we got here while it was still open, by golly. This is so freaking cool. That is one big dude. The Route 66 belt. I think we found our night security guard. Oh, look at this. Could be welcomed in by this as well. Hello! Hello! 
Route 66 or bust, my friend. Oh, look at that. Robot Lilliput is his name. We'll see. I think he has a brother in Oklahoma City that I found. Now let's go buy some curios. This is great. Look at all the cool stuff. Bucks. Nice. The curtain. Yeah. Look at that. The bobblehead. Christmas tree ornaments. Little blue relic Katusa magnet. Look who's selling the stockies. This guy. Bow down to Leon Russell. Hats off. Hats off. The stuffed buck. Oh, look at this. I love it. He is so. On this oh yeah, it's Halloween oh, costume. He's got like a vampire. <laughs> okay, no, that was this year. Yeah, so that was this year. He was Count Buckula. Yeah, that's yeah. great. We have shorts and all. So they said the TV show Reservation Dogs films out here, and the guy that is responsible for it is from here. And an oversized giant hat. Leonardo DiCaprio purchased his hat here. From here, look across the street at that old, that's really cool, that old meadow gold. It's got a big Route 66 sign under it. Milk, ice cream. I just noticed as we're leaving this store, he's got the state of Oklahoma as like a patch up here on the side of him. I guess, they said that they, uh, he gets dressed up for Halloween and, and Christmas, so. I may have to try and come through here so we can see him with a facelift. I don't know anything about this, but they have an I Like Ikes. It's called Chili, and it looks like the I Like Ike Eisenhower logo. Anybody know anything about that chili place, Ike's Chili? Look at this mural over here. Well, I think we've had a great day and we are going to call it a day here in Tulsa so we can start here again tomorrow. And Scott and I are going to go eat like pigs. I think after the last 24 hours, we kind of deserve it, <laughs> don't we? <laughs> yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, our further adventures on Route 66 today. We'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great night and goodbye. Mm -hmm.